All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and salutation and much love to you, sincere brothers out there pushing out this word and truth to sincerity in its entirety. All right. So I just want to do a quick video on this clown here called Israel Trump, which let's go to his channel uh, on a statement he made that no content. You got favorites, that's it. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna play, uh, or I'm gonna see this, because he said it's Tahar, even the Israelite. You know, which, what are you even talking about, bro? Okay, so look, listen to this statement that he made. And then it says, if both your parents are not black, E1, B1A, then you are not an Israelite, period. Well, he, he errs not knowing the scriptures, because what about, so you're saying anybody that's black, if you got two black parents in Israelite, what about two Hamites? You, you, see, you see how simple that statement is? What if two Ethiopians had a kid? Is that, does that, because they're black, does that automatically make them an Israelite? No, it doesn't. It's all about the seed of your father, man. This guy's a simpleton. All right? Call it how it is. So I'm going to bring out biblical scriptures to back what i'm saying up okay and i'm gonna bring out examples and i'll leave it up to you mr israel trump how how are, how are these men israelites the accounts that i'm gonna bring out because according to you since they didn't have both black parents they're not israelites well or uh, i guess you would you should have said it if you both both your parents are are not israelites which that it doesn't matter your mother could be a heathen and your father's an Israelite, then you're an Israelite, and we're going to prove it. So let's start at Numbers 1. All right, let's see what it says. Numbers 1 and 18. All right, it says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old up, and upward by their pole. So your pedigree, all right, let's go to that word, is determined by your father, not your damn mother. Your mother is just an incubator. The seed comes from the man. So let's get that word there. Um, pedigree. Yalad. So pretty much, pretty much to bring forth, or to be born. All right, let's go to the Strong's. It says uh, to bear younger. Your children young, so it's pretty much your seed, your your lineage. Okay. Plants after the house of your father. Okay. Not according to your mother. Your father and your mother said your pedigree is determined by the house of your father. So now let's bring out some examples here. Because according to this clown, all right, Ephraim and Manasseh would not be considered Israelites. Because, as we know, uh, Joseph had kids with an Ethiopian woman. I mean, Salakia, an Egyptian woman. Genesis 46 in and uh, 20, and unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Asenath, the daughter of Potipera, priest of On, bare unto him. So, you're telling me Ephraim and Manasseh ain't Israelites? According to this man, that's the, that would be the case. Oh, but wait, they were, they're both black parents. So what if he would have married a... a, a what if what if uh, Manasseh and Ephraim would have been a, their mother would have been an Edomite woman? What, does that mean they're not Israelites? It's the same thing, man. It's all about what the father is. Because if it, all right, because um, if that was the case, if they weren't Israelites, if they were not to be part of the lineage of Israel, why are they part of the twelve tribes? All right, why did uh, uh, Joseph or Jacob bless them? All right, Genesis forty-eight and thirteen says, and Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand and hand toward. Israel's left hand and Manasseh and his left hand toward Israel's right hand and brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his hand, right hand and they, okay, well, let me just get to the point. Because, you know, that's when uh, he's blessing them, okay? And then, you know, it uh, goes into how Ephraim was going to be greater than Manasseh. But verse 20 says, 
and he blessed them that day. Why would uh, Jacob or Israel bless Ephraim and Manasseh if they weren't to become tribes, if they weren't Israelites? Right, it says, and he blessed them that day, saying, And thee sh shall Israel bless, saying, The Most High make thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh, and Israel said unto Joseph. Alright, that was the point. So he blessed them. <laughs> and and they, when that, that blessing was for them to be part of the twelve tribes of Israel. Alright, Ephraim in the stead of, uh, of uh, Joseph. And Manasseh would come in as a tribe as well. Pretty much take the role, uh, uh, take the spot of Dan, because Dan would later not be part of the twelve tribes, according to Revelation chapter uh, seven. You know, it says that the house of uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, uh, Manasseh, Tali, so on and so forth. And then it says the house of Joseph, which is the house of Ephraim. So that's a clear cut. Evidence that your mother don't have to be an Israelite for you to be an Israelite. Let's go to another example. Matthew chapter 1. Let's see what it says in verse 5. And Solomon begot Boaz, or, or, or yeah, Boaz or, or Chab, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth. Ruth was a Moabite. But guess what? Obed was David's grandfather. Okay, so you're telling me David's grandfather wasn't an Israelite because his mother was a, a Moabite? So how was the Lord of Israelite? Because that, that line is direct, Yahweh's line goes directly back to, to uh, uh, Obed. All right. And guess what? Obed was born of a Moabite mother. We can prove that easy. This is... Uh, Um, this is uh, Ruth. And, uh, okay, verse four. And they took them wives, which talking about the sons of, uh, of, uh, of this, this man, Elimelech, but Boaz would later go on to marry Ruth. Okay. If you read the book. It says, then they took them wives of the women of Moab. The name of, of the one was Orpa, 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 and the name of the other, Ruth. And they dwelled there about 10 years. So, Ruth was a Moabite. And the reason, you have to understand, you could say, oh, well, she could have she was could have been an Israelite that moved into that land. Well, it, she was already there. If you understand why Elimelech and Naomi went into the land of Moab, was because there was a famine, okay? Well, it actually tells you in the first verse. So why would they have already been there? At this time, it was during the, the judges, all right? The Israelites were in their own land in the perspective parts of Israel. So if you're using comp uh, simple common sense and comprehension, all right, you you know that Mo uh, um, Ruth was a Moabite because she was already dwelling in that land. She didn't go there because of the famine. She was already there. And they and they took, and they said, verse 4, they took them wives of the woman of Moab. Plain and simple. So um, Obed, she gave birth to Obed. So I guess Obed's not an Israelite either. That, that would mean Jesse's not an Israelite and King David wasn't an Israelite. You see how stupid that sounds? Okay. Now let's get one more example. Because at this point it's clear cut. Moses, did he not have sons? Of of a, a an Ethiopian woman, come on, man! Are you telling me Gershon and his brother? I forgot. I was escaping his main uh, the name. But we'll get it here in a second. They they weren't Israelites. Well, we are gonna prove that they were. It says Exodus two and twenty one, and Moses. Um, uh, well, well, let me get to the part where okay. So it says verse Exodus two and sixteen. Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters. So the priests of Midian, right, they were in the land of Midian, but they were the Ethiopians, and we're going to prove that too. It said, they came and drew water and filled the thoroughs to water their father's flock. All right. So they were Midian. All right. And they said, and it, uh, back to verse 21, it says, and Moses was content to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter, and she bare him a son. And he called his name Gershom, for he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. So you telling me Gershom was not an Israelite? 
Come on, man. And it proved real quick that it was um, the Ethiopians. They just lived in, in that land. It says, eat numbers 12 and 1. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. <laughs> so you're telling me Moses' sons weren't Israelites. Stupidity, bro. I mean, to be blunt with it, that's what it is. Ignorance. You err not knowing the scriptures, uh, Mr. Uh, Israel Trump. Let's go to to prove that they were Israelites of the house of Levi. We're going to prove it. It's, it's in plain black and white, so to say. All right. First Chronicles 23, verse 14. Now concerning Moses, the man of the Most High, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi. Proving to you that it doesn't matter about your, what your mother is. Their father was a Levite. So guess what? His sons were of the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses were Gershom and Eleazar. That's what it was. All right. So let me jump down to verse 24 because it goes through their sons' sons and, you know, their lineage, the pedigree, according to their fathers. Okay. Uh, verse 24, though, it says, these were the sons of Levi after the house of their fathers, even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by the number of names by their poles. And how was that? Through the fathers, the house of their fathers, that did the work of the service of the house of the Lord, Yahweh, from the age of 20 years and upwards. So what do you got to say about that? These are the sons of Levi. And guess what? The sons of Levi <laughs> are, are um, Moses, sons, uh, con uh, Moses' sons were contained in that, the sons of Levi. So they carried out the priesthood as well. All right. The high priesthood being in, in the, the sons of Aaron. But look, the tribe uh, of the sons of Moab went on to be a priest. All right. They did the service of the house of the Lord. How could they do that if they weren't Israelites? So the point has been proven. Lord's willing to edify and shalom.